guys, here comes the noodle challenge here. This is 8 kg, which is 16 pounds of the stir fry noodle. Wow. Thank you. That is crazy. It's another beautiful day here in Singapore and tonight I'm here at the Tangling Mall. We're at the uh, basement level and we're here in front of SG Honker. This sells like um, Hong Kongese style food. They got a massive challenge for us. Um, I'm here with Xiao Hui today and we're going to be doing a massive 8kg plate. It's going to be epic. Let's go inside and check it out. Behind the scenes, look, Xiao Hui is getting like her hair ready and stuff. She's so cute. Look at those braids. How can I all? Alright, you guys, here comes. The noodle challenge here, this is 8 kg, which is 16 pounds of the stir fry noodle. Wow. Thank you. That is crazy. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is another video, another day here in Singapore. I am doing a team challenge with Xiao Hui today. If you guys don't know who Xiao Hui is, she is probably one of Taiwan's uh, best eaters. Um, and she came to Singapore around the same time as me. So here we are doing a team challenge. So this um, dish, it's... I actually was very unfamiliar with what this dish was. In my head, I thought it was beef chow feng, but it is nothing like that at all. The texture of it is very like mushy and it has a sweet flavor and I didn't know it contained um, like clams. So it had a very fishy flavor. So for me, it was a little bit hard to um, swallow it because there was a lot of textures going on or a lot of flavor profiles going on. It was savory, it was sweet, it was fishy and it was a little bit sour. And I actually asked for um, some black vinegar to kind of like dilute the sweetness as well because it was it was like getting really nauseating sweet as me because the dish also included lap chang, which is Chinese um, sausage. So yeah, it was it was a very interesting dish. So going into this, this is my first time having this dish. When it comes to like food challenge and stuff, it really matters if I like the food or not. And I didn't particularly like this, but you can see Xiao Hui is going at it. I am not um, satisfied with my performance on this team challenge. And I know you guys are going to say she ate a lot more than me, and I'm not going to deny it. She ate a lot more than me. I know that for a fact, and I kept telling her I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I just, I, it was hard for me to get this down. But yes, for, the, for those of you who don't know Xiaohui, she is definitely one of the best eaters I know and she is amazing and she's super cute so definitely go check out her channel. Um, uh, unfortunately it is all in Chinese but she's great. She eats a lot of food and I love her. Uh, but yeah, it was, this is, I, it was definitely, <laughs> I definitely was very upset on myself, but she was also very like reassuring me that this is a team challenge, it was a team effort. Like I said, she's super nice and I'm sorry for those of you who are watching, I didn't um, do as well on this one, but I will try my best on the next challenge. Um, it's not like I never try my best, it's just I was um, unfamiliar with this dish, so now I know. Now I know. I should have tried this dish beforehand. Um, before going into this challenge. But we were able to, we, I think we have a 30 minute time limit for this, so we were just about nearing the end here. And um, I think for like just trying a normal por portion, it is good. It was just like the um, accumulation of so much um, of that flavor profile that really got to me because it was a flavor I'm, I'm not used to. If you guys remember, I did a challenge in Vietnam and it was my first time having like a jellyfish fish egg soup and I failed that one as well um, because I it, it just I couldn't handle the flavors but here we are we're just about done and finishing up the last plate for the both of us 
you guys, again, you guys don't need to tell me. She ate a lot more than me. I know that. <laughs> but we uh, were able to get everything down within 27 minutes for the win. And yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming out of Singapore. So we just got done. She is amazing. So this is her shishin. Like she, we can do it. <laughs> She's so cute. So I am really not used to eating that much seafood and also I didn't know that it was going to have seafood so that de that flavor definitely caught me by surprise and it was a little bit sweet so I try to like offset the flavor a little bit with the vinegar but she just like powered through it she's very good so definitely check out her channel I'll put the link in the description down below but thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to uh, SG Hawker this is part of the uh, Fei Xiong group here right here Fei Xiong group so check them out if you guys ever visit Singapore but hopefully you guys are looking forward to more adventures. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Look how festive it is here right now. Look at these Christmas lights. It's so cute. They even got a carnival going on and a little kid's carnival. It's so pretty. Everybody's taking pictures. It's fun. I seriously love that Christmas tree. That Christmas tree is so cute. There. Wow. Look at this street. Dude, the picture doesn't do it justice. It's actually so pretty. Walking down the street. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh.